Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Um, in this series, we're talking about how to migrate uh, Cisco command line to Brocade. Um, if you're trained in Cisco or, you know, if you're um, moving the uh, configuration from a Cisco device to a Brocade device, um, we're talking about some of the differences here. And so in this case, um, Cisco native VLAN or the untagged VLAN on an interface um, converts to what Brocade calls dual mode. Um, so dual mode meaning that an interface can be tagged and untagged at the same time. Um, and so on the Cisco side, the native VLAN would be the untagged VLAN. So let's have a look at how we do that. Um, so I have a telnet session into a Cisco and a, uh, and a Brocade. So the Brocade is an ICX 7250. Um, and so on the Cisco side, uh, let's see, we'll create a VLAN called VLAN 10. Sorry, from config mode, uh, VLAN 10. Um, we'll create another one, VLAN 20. And then um, we will go into an interface. So, so let's say out, out this interface, we have a, uh, an IP phone, for example, and we need to send tag traffic or voice traffic on VLAN 10 and uh, data traffic or untagged traffic on VLAN 20. Um, so or maybe it's an access point, right? And so from the, the, the SSIDs that belong to the, to the um, customers are tagged traffic and the untagged is for management of the access point itself. Uh, so there's multiple uses why we would need to do this. And so we're gonna go to an interface, say giggy uh, zero slash five. Um, so we're gonna do a switch port, um, trunk encapsulation we need to set the encapsulation to dot one q okay and then we're going to put it into switch port mode trunk so that it sends the traffic you know with a tag vlan on it and then lastly the vlan that we want to send untagged so uh, we'll say vlan 10 in this case will be our untagged vlan so we'll say switch port trunk and then native uh, VLAN 10 right so that just says send VLAN 10 traffic out untagged um, out of this interface but send the other traffic uh, the other VLANs tagged out of that interface okay so that's how we do it in Cisco um, now the brocade world somewhat different right so again we do it from the VLAN not from the interface for the most part and so what we're gonna do we go to config T We'll create our VLAN 10. We're going to tag uh, Ethernet, say, 115. Okay. VLAN 20, we're going to tag Ethernet 115. Now, I just tag both of those VLANs out that interface. So if I just leave it alone at this point, it's going to send both VLANs tagged out that interface, right? But what we want to do. Um, to match the Cisco configuration we just did is we want VLAN 10's traffic to go out untagged. So that's going to go to the PC or to the management of the access point or whatever you're trying to achieve. So it's equivalent to the native. So what we want to do is we go to the physical interface. So we're going to go to interface uh, Ethernet 115 and then we're going to use the dual mode command. So dual dash mode and the number that follows this dual mode command is the number of the VLAN that you want untagged, right? So if I just hit enter here, if I just say dual mode and hit enter, my default VLAN, which is VLAN one, is going to get untagged. So that would match the, the default native from Cisco. But in this case, we want to send uh, VLAN 10 traffic out untagged. So that's it. So on 115, I say dual mode 10. So I c remember, I can have as many tagged VLANs on an interface as I want, but because this is untagged and I, f from the receiving or sending side, we don't know what VLAN that traffic belongs to because there's no tag in the packet header. We can only have one untagged VLAN. So we said dual mode 10, which leaves it untagged. So then if we do a show um, VLAN Ethernet 115, it shows me that 115 here, port VLAN 10, 115 is dual mode. 
uh, and VLAN 20 one one five is tagged right so we're sending vlan 20 traffic out tagged in that interface we're sending vlan 10 traffic out untagged now dual moded on that interface if you will so um, a little bit of a different way of thinking about it but still pretty simple to achieve okay so that's it for today thanks very much and take